Hi, Black Cat Recapped here. Today I am going to explain a thriller movie named Bad Sister. The movie starts with a young man named Jason Brady, who is playing the guitar in his room. He is a vlogger musician. After the school holidays, Jason and his sister Zoe are taken to a Catholic boarding school. They are welcomed by the headmistress, Sister Rebecca. Meanwhile, another sister from the same school, Sister Sophia, watches Jason and his family from the principal's office. Sister Rebecca returns to her office and greets Sister Sophia. Sister Rebecca reminds her that all nuns must follow the school's rules and one of these rules is that nuns cannot wear makeup while in school. Sister Rebecca immediately gives her a tissue and asks Sister Sophia to remove her makeup right away. After a short conversation, the headmistress shows Sister Sophia around, and at the same time, Sophia also meets Jason, and we learn that she is going to be his new homeroom teacher. After this, Rebecca shows Sophia her room. In the room, Sophia watches Jason's music video on her laptop, and upon seeing him, she starts kissing her laptop. This tells us that Sophia already knew Jason and that she came to the school for some sinister purpose. Unable to resist, Sister Sophia sneaks into the school dormitory and listens to Jason singing while playing the guitar. The next day during class, a student named Sarah flirts with Jason. Sarah is a pretty and well-liked girl. A little while later, Sister Sophia came into the classroom. She felt envious when she saw Sarah and Jason being close to each other. Sister Sophia then scolded Sarah in a slightly scary way. Zoe reminded Sister Sophia that they hadn't done their morning prayer. After that event, Jason and Sarah went back to talking in the schoolyard. Sarah complained to Jason about Sister Sophia's irritating behavior. But right as Sarah and Jason were kissing, Sister Sophia appeared out of nowhere with an angry face. She then ordered Jason to go to the classroom and warned Sarah to stay away from him. After that, Sister Sophia asked Jason to come to her room once school was finished. At first, Jason said no because boys weren't allowed to visit a girl's room, especially a nun's room. However, Jason eventually went to Sister Sophia's room. He noticed that the door was slightly open, and when he peeked inside, he was shocked by what he saw. Sister Sophia had removed her nun's clothes and was only wearing bright red underwear. It turned out that Sister Sophia did this intentionally and acted like she didn't notice Jason being there. He quickly ran away. That night, Jason couldn't sleep. Jason couldn't stop thinking about the attractive Sister Sophia. He even went as far as imagining himself passionately kissing her. One night, Sister Sophia quietly enters the girl's dormitory while everyone is asleep. She goes into Sarah's room and secretly puts a pack of cigarettes in her books. Sister Sophia planned this to set a trap for Sarah and get her expelled from the school. Unexpectedly, Sister Rebecca caught Sister Sophia in the act. Sister Sophia tried to argue that she was only checking the security of the girl's dormitory. Sister Rebecca didn't ask any more questions and left right away. The following day, Sister Sophia instructed the students to open their textbooks. When Sarah opened her book, she discovered a roll of cigarettes inside. This incident immediately grabbed the attention of Sister Sophia and her classmates. Sarah was taken to the headmistress's office where she could only cry and insist that the cigarette didn't belong to her. However, the school still punished her based on the rules. She was suspended and had to leave the school for some time. Following this, a thorough search was conducted in the entire school and hostel. In Jason's room, a bottle of liquor was found. When it was time to punish Jason, Sophia spoke to the other teachers and nuns, requesting a lenient punishment. Jason was assigned the task of helping with the school cleaning over the weekend. Sophia wanted Jason to remain at the school that weekend, so she punished him. Afterward, a flashback scene shows how Sophia developed feelings for Jason. She conducted thorough research on him and discovered that a nun named Sophia had been hired at Jason's school. Sophia then met the nun and got rid of her. She disguised herself as Sophia and started coming to Jason's school on weekends. During the cleanup sessions at the school, both Jason and Zoe stopped by. Sophia took this opportunity to assist Jason and make efforts to seduce him. That night, while Jason was sleeping in his room, Sophia enters and secretly turns on her phone's recording. Sensing someone in the room, Jason wakes up and is extremely surprised to see Sister Sophia there. Sister Sophia then approaches Jason and tries to persuade him to do something inappropriate. Jason knows it's wrong and tries to resist, but he finds it difficult to resist her advances. Eventually, 
Jason succumbs to temptation, and they engage in intimate activities. The next morning, Jason feels very guilty about what happened because he had gotten involved with a nun. Later, when there's nobody in Jason's room, Sophia enters and starts sniffing Jason's sweaty clothes. Just then, Zoe arrives and catches her in the act. Sophia scolds Zoe, but Zoe tells Jason about what she witnessed. Upon witnessing the events unfold, Sophia becomes very angry with Zoe and gives her low marks on the test. After school, Jason intends to confess his sins but is surprised to discover that Sister Sophia, not the priest, hears his confession. She enters the confession booth and sits on his lap, engaging in intimate behavior. When Jason returns home for the weekend, he attends a party where Sarah gets close to him and tries to kiss him, likely seeking something more intimate. However, all Jason can think about is Sister Sophia, causing him to stop Sarah from kissing him and leave the party. As he exits the party, he holds a bottle of liquor in his hand. Because of these events, a policeman catches Jason, but suddenly Sophia appears and handles the situation. Afterward, Sophia takes him to a hotel, where she once again tries to seduce him. However, Jason tells her that their actions are wrong. Sophia expresses her desire to be with him forever and mentions her wealth, suggesting they could live happily together in Paris. Jason realizes that Sister Sophia is unstable after sleeping with her once more, and he angrily scolds her, stating that he doesn't want to be with her. He then leaves the hotel. Jason sits by the side of the road and calls Zoe for help. Instead of Zoe, Jason's father shows up and supports him in focusing on his music career. Back at school, Jason discovers an unconscious Sister Sophia on his bed. Panicked, Jason initially believes that Sophia has attempted suicide by overdosing on medication. When he performs CPR, Sophia suddenly wakes up. It turns out that it was all a prank to gain Jason's attention and sympathy. Unable to handle Sophia's manipulative behavior any longer, Jason threatens to report her actions to the priest and headmistress. In response, Sophia threatens to expose their forbidden relationship to everyone. Jason remains silent because he doesn't want his father and others to know about his inappropriate actions at school. Shortly after, while Sophia was teaching the class, Sister Rebecca suddenly interrupts the lesson. The headmistress instructs Sarah to attend classes as usual because her punishment has ended. Jason and Sarah's relationship became close once again, and they were often seen alone and affectionate with each other. This ignited feelings of jealousy and anger in Sophia. Sophia devised a plan to get rid of Sarah. In the evening, Sophia sneaked into the girl's dormitory and found Sarah in the shower. She hit Sarah until she was severely injured. Sophia then dropped a bar of soap on the floor to make it appear as if Sarah had slipped and had an accident. Moments later, Zoe was shocked to find Sarah lying face down. Zoe immediately called for help from the police and the other residents of the dormitory. They believed Sarah's injuries were the result of a fall in the bathroom. The dormitory residents gathered at the church, and after the prayer, Jason approached Sophia and accused her of being the one responsible for Sarah's sudden demise. Even though it was true, Sophia showed no fear. She appeared angry and threatened Jason by showing him a video of them being intimate. Sophia then warned Jason not to expose her actions or else. When the weekend arrived, Jason and Zoe were picked up by their parents. Sophia planned to meet Jason while he was with his family. She asked Sister Rebecca for permission to attend her aunt's funeral. Jason and Zoe were having dinner with their parents at a restaurant when they were surprised by Sophia suddenly appearing before them and meeting their parents. Jason's parents warmly greeted Sister Sophia and even invited her to join them for dinner. Meanwhile, Sister Rebecca made a call to the hospital where Sophia's supposed aunt was being treated, but the hospital had no record of the patient mentioned by Sister Rebecca. This made Sister Rebecca suspicious that Sophia had lied to her. After dinner, Zoe encouraged Jason to tell her what had happened because he seemed nervous during Sister Sophia's presence. Jason confessed to Zoe that he had been having an intimate relationship with their teacher and was being blackmailed with an intimate tape. Zoe expressed her doubts about Sister Sophia's true identity. Determined to find out the truth, Jason and Zoe broke into Sister Sophia's room and accessed her computer. They finally discovered that her real name was Laura Patterson. Laura purposely got rid of the real Sister Sophia to infiltrate Jason's school and get close to him. 
Meanwhile, Sister Rebecca called Sophia to her office. Sister Rebecca exposed all of Sophia's lies and was about to report them to the priest. However, as Sister Rebecca headed for the door, Sophia struck her head, causing Sister Rebecca to collapse and lose consciousness. Jason and Zoe, who were planning to report Sophia's true identity, went to Sister Rebecca's room. Since there was no response when they knocked on the door, they left without knowing that Sister Rebecca was unconscious and Sophia was hiding there. Jason and Zoe ended up going to the church and meeting Sophia. They informed her that they already knew her true identity and that they would report it to Sister Rebecca. Sophia, who was furious as the situation escalated, swiftly knocked Zoe unconscious and aggressively attacked Jason. Unexpectedly, Sister Rebecca intervened and pulled Sophia away. Taking advantage of the chaos, Jason reached into his pocket and grabbed a screwdriver, stopping Sophia with it. Several months later, all the students happily graduated.